Okay, um, I want to show you how to add text and talk about the three rings. To add text, it's very simple. Just double click anywhere you want. Now, so, and as you can see, some of the things you can do there as far as justification and your choices of fonts, which are very limiting. And to zoom in and out, you just will use your scroll wheel. So I'm going to zoom in and now I'm going to double click and want to add some more text. Pretty simple. <clears throat> now when you click on a text, or anything for that matter, you're going to get these three rings I like to call them. You have an outer ring, which will rotate. Pretty nice. You have a middle ring, which will make things larger and smaller. And then you have the center ring, or it's <clears throat> which will let you move something. Now this works not just for text, but for pretty much everything, as you will see later on. And if you click the little plus button, it gives you more options there. It's delete, duplicate, etc., etc., etc. So now that you know how to add text and manipulate it, uh, we can move on to the next thing. Okay, now we're going to insert images. Very, very, very easy. If you just click insert on the control wheel and then load file, and then pick the image you'd like to insert. And it's that simple. And there it is. Now, an image, just like text, when you click on it, you get the three wheels. So you can rotate, make it larger, smaller, and of course you can move it around anywhere you'd like. Of course, the plus sign gives you lots of other options. And that's all you have to do to insert an image. Adding a YouTube video is incredibly easy. So here I've got a YouTube video I've made about Microsoft Word brochure templates. All you have to do is find the video, highlight the address, copy it, and you can copy it with Control C on a PC or Command C on a Mac. Come over to Prezi, double click, and then paste it with Control V or Command V on a Mac. And as you can see, it pops up. And of course, you've got the three rings, so you can move it, rotate it, anything, uh, just like it was an image or text. And that's how you put a YouTube video in. Shapes allow you to add arrows, draw on it, highlight things, and it's really simple. You just click shapes, click the arrow, click and drag, just like this. There you go. Uh, to drawing is the same thing. And they just bring a little emphasis, they just make it make look a little nicer, you know. It's whether you want it or not, it's all up to you. And of course, these shapes can also be manipulated like text or an image. Just click out of the shapes, and if you click on them, now here I want to click on that, you see you get your three rings. And I'm I don't want that, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And that's how you do shapes. To change the color and the fonts of the whole thing. You just click colors and fonts and when you click it, it instantly changes. That's pretty cool. Uh, and you can change it however you want, whenever you want. As you can see, you have lots of options. Frames are like shapes, except they're frames. <laughs> they just, they add a little something to the presentation. Uh, you pick the frame you want and you just click and drag. And as you can see, you have a couple different frames here. And again, the frames just like everything else. You can click it and get the, the three rings. So I'm just going to add some frames there. And that's all you got to do. Path is essential. So when people are viewing it, this tells your Prezi what to show first, what to show second, and so on. So you just click path and you click on the order you want it to. And if you want to, you can even change it around. Like for example, I'm going to change this one and I'll say, well, I want the YouTube video to go second. And I'm going to take this, and I'm going to make that go last. Okay, the show just lets you preview it. Now, before I do that, I'm going to move some things back. There we go. And now you just click there and click show, and then use your arrow keys, left and right, to move it on. And this gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. Pretty neat, huh? And of course, when you get to YouTube video, it'll play. Now, now that you've done your own Prezi, it's time for you to share it. So click exit up in the top right hand corner and it'll take you right to your Prezi. It'll load up and you can play it. Now if you want to share it, there's something there that says get link. And that's the link you would, you know, 
you'd put on your blog or whatever, and it would go there. And as you can see, it's pretty complicated. But you just copy it, paste it. That's all you got to do. You can also take this and embed it into, into uh, various blogs and websites. Pretty cool, huh? Well, thanks for watching, and we hope you visit us at itbabble.com.